Hey folks, welcome back to Florida Outdoors RV Center here in Stewart, Florida. Today we have the Forest River Forester 3251. This is the bunk model. This coach is powered by Ford 7.3 liter V8, also on the E450 chassis. This coach has a 55 gallon fuel tank, a 44 gallon freshwater tank, and then 39 gallons for both your gray and your black. I'm gonna start with the awning that they put on these coaches. This is the Solera awning provided by Lippert Components. This is an automatic awning with speakers inside the ends of the awning. And all you have to do with these awnings, if you're away from the coach, is simply pull down on the lever to adjust the pitch. So if it starts raining, it's not gonna belly up on the inside of your fabric. It'll simply fall off the side. Forcer also provides all of the blinker cameras on both the lower panels of the box to get rid of that blind spot. Over here, you're going to have your propane container. That's going to be your 66 pound propane tank over here. You also have 110 power for any sort of uh, devices, radios, and stuff like that. We have a small storage facility right here. Also, this 11 foot Solera awning comes with a full LED light strip throughout and the docking strip on top of the door over here. All of the slides are going to come with these slide toppers on top of them, as they all do with Forrester. You're going to have your dually rears and some more storage at the bottom of the coach over here. You can see in the very rear of the coach, you're going to have a full pass-through storage. This is going to be the rotocast material inside. This is going to be a water-resistant, scratch-resistant material, all with low-point drain. So if there's any moisture that does get inside, it'll simply fall off to the back so it's not going to gather inside the coach. As we move around to the rear of the coach, you're going to see it's going to have the bumper for any of your septic hoses, your 7,500 pound towing capability with this coach, your backup camera, and then on top of this coach, your, this coach is optioned with the 120 watt monocrystalline solar panel, so that's going to help trickle charge the battery to prevent any sort of dead house batteries. This coach is also capable of having people on top of the roof, so you can walk on it. And this is the other side of the full pass-through storage. This coach does not have an automatic transfer switch, so if you are using the generator, you simply plug in the 30 amp cord back into the coach to complete the circuit. Once you are at a campground, you will unplug this, run it, and just plug it into your 30 amp circuit. Very simple. You have your fresh water gravity fill up here, all of your other water components down here such as your septic hookup, your black water tank, and your city water connection right here. This is going to be the Atwood hot water heater. This is going to be the newer and upgraded version of all of the hot water heaters on the market. This is going to actually recycle 18 gallons per hour rather than the traditional 10 and 12. Moving on, we have more storage underneath, and then this is just gonna be the main dinette slide over here. The cab on this coach is very simple. All of the basic Ford components on your rear view mirror right here, this is where your backup camera is gonna be. So as you see, we're already looking behind us right now. Once you put it in reverse, these little gauges pop up that'll tell you one to three feet away from the coach. Now, Forrester also owns the patent on this camera called Eagle Eye, where you can see the hitch and 300 yards behind you at the same time. You can also see that your blinker cameras are all going to be right here and they're very clear and good quality. You have the 500 pound overhead bunk for any additional guests that you have inside of here. Forcer also provides an AC vent for the guests sleeping up inside of here to actually cool them down. You have 110 outlets for charging any sort of devices up here on both of the cupboards that you have over here a swing TV for the main living area. Ice right here is going to be your speakers. You have A and B for indoor and outdoor speakers and then C is actually going to tie into the main television and whatever's broadcasting on the TV is going to stream through the inside speakers of the coach so it's almost like a surround sound. You have a booth dinette here that drops on down to a bed. Also you have a nice couch sofa over here this will jackknife into a bed as well so you can sleep two individuals here two on top as we continue on back to the rear of the coach you'll be able to see the three burner gas stove over here you have the glass top that'll set on down for some additional counter space if need be your nice deep stainless steel sink over here with an extra counter extension 
You have your 15,000 BTU air conditioner that's fully ducted throughout the coach as well. Um, you also have a solar charging panel right here. Now common in most all of the Foresters right now, they've gone away with the gas electric refrigerator. This is a 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So with the solar panel on the coach, the generator, the shore power, and the solar panels, everything is gonna be able to make sure that your refrigerator is running nice and cold throughout your whole process. This is gonna be the bunk room for any additional guests you may have. What's, what I think is pretty unique about this coach is you can actually take this bunk here, lift it up, lock it into place, you can have a nice sitting area with a television over here. When it's time for bed, you can set the bunks back down. Everybody has their own individual curtains for privacy. This coach provides is a nice bathroom. This also has a mini tub. If you have smaller kids, it'll be nice to bathe them, or it's a good place to get some Epsom salts and soak your feet after a nice long day of hiking in the woods. And then back into the back, we're gonna have the master suite. This is gonna be a residential queen size bed that does not fold while in transit. So you're gonna have all of this space to be able to maneuver through the coach even while in transit. And then as you can see over here, you have a tremendous amount of storage space through here.